What I wanted to show you now is the V5 PDU when you dead short it. In other words, you're doing something now that you shouldn't do. Cross the red and black on an output, for example. So I'm just going to replicate a short, for example. And then I wanted to show you how to reset the unit, uh, which is some of the questions we have is how would you reset it? So let's plug it into the Anderson plug, for example. And we're going to cross the red and black. Now, again, we don't normally do this, but I just want to show that the unit will do, and it should shut down. So as you can see now, it's dead. Okay? Completely dead. There's no power. The unit has shut itself down. It's protecting itself. You turn it on and off now, nothing will happen. As you can see, nothing's happening. Leave it off. What you do to reset it is you simply need to put a power source into the unit. So what you need to do is put a power source into the obviously the input. You can do that by a solar panel or by, say, the car, for example, or the DC-DC unit. The simplest way I can demonstrate this is by using the AC-DC charger, like so. I've got that plugged in at the moment. And then what I will do is I'll plug it into the input, like so. And then you can see it's charging. And then it should come back on, which it has done. So again, you don't need to go into the unit and pull fuses and things out or do anything like that. This unit will simply protect yourself. Take the load off, take the load off, turn the unit off, leave it for 30 seconds, for example, put a power source in there and it's ready to go. Now you'll find that it should be able to kick in and off now. No problem, back to normal. Okay, so that's a dead short and how to reset the Nomad PDU V5. The V4s are also the same. So we're going to uh, switch over to another video in a second and that will be showing you when we overcharge the unit as to how the unit protects itself as well.